how to walk in supernatural favor how to walk in supernatural favor when a man lack favor in his life it will be showing all around but when the favor of God is upon your life it will also show favor can speak favor when the favor of God rests upon your business it can speak upon your business can speak that somebody will look at you and said Kai I don't know but uh, a, young, a young man that I used to pray with he told me one of, one of the day an Aosa, a Muslim man called him and said listen I want to tell you this I don't know what is pulling me to you I just don't know that sometimes the man will come and drop 3 million and maybe will return back after 3 months for the money it can only take favor he said I don't know what is just pulling me to you something is pulling me I pray for you the favor of God will distinguish you in this month the favor of God will distinguish your business in this month in the name of Jesus now if you want to walk in supernatural favor you must learn how to pray the prayer of mercy let me show you from the book of Psalm chapter 102 Psalm 102 verse 13 just turn your Bible with me he said thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion For the time to favor her, yet the said time is come. So it is mercy that brings favor. It is mercy that brings favor. That's why if you must go, if you want to go far with God, you must learn how to pray the prayer of mercy. Father, have mercy on me. When the mercy of God prevails over your life, it brings favor. When the mercy of God prevail over your life, it brings favor. Say, thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion. Say, for the time to favor her has come. So, it is when mercy show forth that favor comes. It is when the mercy of God prevail up in your life. That is when favor comes upon your life. So you must learn how to say, Oh Lord, have mercy on me. Oh Lord, have mercy upon my family. Oh Lord, have mercy upon my business. Oh Lord, have mercy upon my bank account. <laughs> Amen. Let the mercy of God cover every ramification of your life. Say, then you will begin to walk in supernatural favor. And that is what the blood of Jesus is doing for us the blood of jesus is speaking better thing than the blood of Abel. so you must be conscious of the speaking of the blood of jesus in your life be conscious of it don't allow any devil to take away the blood because anytime the blood is not in place the enemy will attack amen so be conscious of the blood of jesus in this month be very conscious of the blood the blood of jesus has brought about the mercy of god upon your life so lord i am covered under the blood of jesus i am covered by the blood i am under the blood mercy speak for me so immediately favor begin to happen in your life so you must learn how to pray the prayer of mercy Proverbs chapter 3 let's open our Bible Proverbs chapter 3 from verse 3 
He said, Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about thy neck. Mm. Write them upon thy table of thy heart. So shalt thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God a man. Mm. You must let ask for mercy and also show people mercy ask for mercy and also show people mercy so then you will have favor in the sight of God and there is a place he talk about truth if you are doing business do your business with truth don't miss it with lie some people say that a businessman cannot say the truth it's not true you can choose on the kind of thing that you have to say. You must not buy product and tell a customer, I bought it. You want to offend God because you want to sell your kaya. No. There, you don't need to tell somebody how much you buy your product in order to sell it. Amen. You don't need to tell somebody how much you buy product. This is what I'm selling. So let truth be in your mouth. A young man that I'm praying, uh, one of the men I'm praying with, uh, the other day he was talking with me he said man of God there is a business I did about 45 million after the prayer that we prayed he said the, the business was about 45 million naira, and uh, because it was with government he said the man the person that brought the man said can you be able to trust this person that we are doing this business he said I can trust him why because he said there was a time he went, for, he went to Dubai and uh, the man paid money to his account and that money was over he paid over so he called him from Dubai he said you just paid me and you paid me over the man said are you sure he went back to the bank and cross check and they saw that he paid over they said well I that if you did not tell me there is no how I can be able to trace it because the people have already finalize that that is the amount that they are owing him so he paid the exact amount that they say that they are owing so there is no how they can discover but he was the one that told them he said you paid over so after he returned back to Dubai he paid the money he said now he brought this person to him one of top government officials they came to buy some product from him and uh, all the money was uh, 45 million and at the process, they want to pay him. They now uh, transferred 120 million into his account. He called them. He said, "You paid, and you also paid over." They say, "Yes, they know that the money will be going to so so person, so so person." But don't worry. We want you to transfer the money when the time comes. What am I saying? when you are doing your business in truth in truth don't cheat people in truth you will excel the favor of God will be working in your life the favor of God when you are a truthful there are people that if you do business with them and your money enter their hands sorry for you and nobody will want to do business with such person he will go and be praying I don't know who is pursuing me from the village yet he is the one that is pursuing himself truth can bring favor in your life amen hallelujah so another thing that you do you will do this month is learn how to declare the declaration of favor upon your life say father I am favored beyond measure as I step out anybody that see me will favor me any man, any woman that see me will favor me. I carry favor. I carry favor. Learn how to declare favor upon your life. Proclaim it. Prophesy it upon your life. I walk in favor. I walk in favor. I swim in favor. Somebody here, you will not have accident this month. But you will have accident with favor. So that everywhere you go people will be giving you things yeah. 
when the favor of God is upon your life, it makes men to favor you. Number two way on how you can walk in the supernatural favor is through increased wisdom and stature. Luke chapter 2. Luke chapter 2, turn your Bible with me. Luke chapter 2, verse 52. Mm. And Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and man. Oh, Jesus increased in stature. So it is the increased in wisdom and spiritual stature that gave Jesus favor with God and man. So when you begin to increase in wisdom and stature, I'm going to explain that word stature very soon. Amen? If you write wisdom and stature, you can underline it. Wisdom in Greek word is Sophia. Is Sophia that is what is called in Greek world, which means wisdom, insight, skill, uh, human or divine intelligence, but we call it divine intelligence. Divine intelligence, wisdom is divine intelligence. Listen, when you have increased in the wisdom of God, it makes you to be more intelligent than anybody. Even you are, you might not be a medical doctor, but you can talk so many things about medicine. Amen. So that is divine wisdom. Divine wisdom. Hallelujah. So you increase. In the book of Second uh, Peter, chapter one, verse three. He said that according to divine purpose of God have given to us everything pertaining to life and godliness. Can I tell you? Your future is no longer in the hand of God. It is in your hand. Your future is not in the hand of God. It is in your hand. But how do you assess what has been given already? Is true increased wisdom so when your knowledge about what Jesus has done for you have increased in that way you will be able to have a kind of wisdom that even the devil will not be able to play babangloranda about you there is something that you will have access from the world that when the devil comes he know that you have outgrown what is kind of temptation Amen. You know that you have outgrown that kind of temptation. Can I tell you, when you are being tempted and you succumb to that temptation, it is because you have not gotten a kind of Sophia of God. There is a kind of wisdom of God that is not at work in your life. So, when you increase in the wisdom of God, it makes you to be favored by God. He makes you to be favored by God. The children of Asaka, they prospered in their time because they increased in wisdom because they now understood time and season by wisdom and understanding. Amen? So, when you increase in wisdom naturally, you will begin to have favor with God and men. Let me explain what I'm saying so that you will understand it before I will read the Bible again. Now, you are into business. There is a way you should learn how to treat your customers. It does not matter whether it's an house man. It can pass 17 shop or that something shop of an house man to come to your shop just by increased Sophia 
on how to handle your customers just by increased wisdom that is what Solomon did when God gave him wisdom the man everything about the man changed that when Queen of, of Sheba came to him she lost her soul because she came and uh, she's a queen she she is ruling all manner of people but when she came to the chamber which before she entered when she came to the palace of of solomon she saw the way things was organized the way things was organized she have never saw it anywhere before her la her heart left her that is a kind of sophia amen so there is a way that you can increase in wisdom and you begin to learn how to treat your customers you begin to learn how to treat people you begin to walk in, a, in an unusual favor in an unusual favor hallelujah let's open our bible the second Peter chapter 3 verse 18 say but grow in grace that is in favor and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to him be glory both now and forever man. now look at this say grow in grace how do you grow in grace in the knowledge you grow in grace when you begin to know more about Jesus when you begin to know more about Jesus and who is Jesus Jesus is grace when you begin to know more about Jesus then you are growing in grace you are growing in grace Philippians chapter 4 verse 19 say and my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus what is that riches and glory John chapter 10 verse 10 I have come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly so everything that you need is already surplus it's already surplus but that is why you need to increase in wisdom amen Ephesians chapter 1 verse 17 let's read it quickly Ephesians chapter 1 from verse 17 and 18 he said he said in verse 17 that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ the father of glory may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and understanding and the knowledge of him the eyes of your understanding be enlightened that you may know what is the hope of his calling that you may know what is the hope of his calling and what is the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints all these things can only happen through increased wisdom that you begin to know what is the hope of his calling you begin to know hallelujah and the word death a stature in Greek in Greek it means helicare which is age time of life full age maturity stature so I call it spiritual stature jesus came to a place of full spiritual stature john testifying about it in john chapter 3 verse 34 he said whosoever the lord called he giveth him spirit without measure so jesus came to a place where his higher sense has been activated higher sense here is a level where his supernatural sense became natural how many of you know that we have 
spiritual senses we have spiritual senses now when that your spiritual senses your ear your eye your nose your all these senses that we have physically we also have it spiritually that is why a prophet can say i hear i hear it takes that i hear to hear from god i see you take it to see what is happening in the realm of the of the supernatural amen you can also use your nose to perceive supernatural fragrance amen and with this your mouth your tongue you can taste you can that's why i have entered into a place i begin to perceive death death i did not see it with my physical eyes but i begin to perceive something that is dead and rotten when i perceive it with my nose my 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 supernatural nose i begin to ask god why am i perceiving death death here he said this man that is here is about to die <laughs> i say when he said in two weeks time i said what can be done to to remedy this he said if they can pray consistently night vigil for two weeks he will survive i said why he said because i am there is a, 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 a sacrifice that is being um, every day the sacrifice is being made on the man's head to die I call the family I say this is what I'm, I'm, I'm perceiving and this is what I, this is the prayer if you take it seriously it will be averted but if you do not take it it will not exceed two weeks and they did not take it seriously two weeks the man dropped Amen. Hallelujah. So, how was I able to assess that? It's through supernatural sense being activated. Amen. Through my supernatural sense being activated. Now, Jesus' own has become natural. This one used to happen once in a while. That is, it comes and goes, it comes and goes. But Jesus has developed all his supernatural senses. That naturally, Jesus is supernatural. Amen. All the supernatural senses of Jesus is alive, is active. That's why there is a kind of news that he cannot hear because he keeps hearing his father always. There is a kind of news that he will hear, he will hear, he will not even move by it because he keeps hearing his father always. There is a kind of news he will hear, he will not move him because he keeps seeing what must happen. Amen. So that is what we call when you have come to a full stature in the realm of the spirit you have come to a full stature when you come to this point you walk in favor in favor of God and man because you will become supernaturally intelligent that you can be able to tell somebody what will happen in the future amen hallelujah that's why in the book of Romans chapter 12 verse 1 what did he say he said by the mercies of God that you submit your bodies as a living sacrifice so when the Bible says bodies it's talking about your senses it's talking about your senses that you submit your senses your senses you make you submit it as a living sacrifice so when it comes to a point when all these your natural senses have died that you're no longer moved by what you see that you're no longer moved by what you hear outside the word of God Amen so you have come to that full stature and uh, the kind of favor of God that will be following you will not be the kind of favor of God that is following another person that is where God wants us to be in. That is the kind of dimension that God wants us to pray for. Amen. This one night is superior to prayer. You become naturally the favor himself. You are now favor himself. Hallelujah. Look at it. Let me show you from the book of Hebrews. So, so that you understand what I'm saying Hebrews chapter 5 verse 14 
He said, look at it. He look at it. Let me start from verse 13 so that you will understand. He said, for everyone that uses milk is unskillful. And the word of righteousness, for he's a babe. So there are people that they come to church every day, but yet they are still babe in the sight of God. There is a kind of favor that does not follow babe. There's a kind of favor that will not follow babe. But when you become, uh, if you understand what I'm saying, that is why one of the day when I was in Joss, youth, some youth coppers invited me to a place called Rium, inside the village. I went there. Um, after they began to see a kind of manifestation of God, in that place, huge amount of money came out from the village. That the pastor, the young guy that the uh, youth couple pastor that invited me to the place. He said, man of God, I don't know that this kind of money is here. Are you getting what I'm saying? I don't know that this kind of, even all these people that, in the morning, when I wake up in the morning, some, some coppers still came with money. Inside village. Amen? So, when you are not a babe in the things of God, there is a kind of favor that follow you. But when you are still a, a babe, there is a little favor that is following you. So that is why Apostle Paul is saying, those that are using milk is unskillful because it is children that drinks milk. Milk's, milk is necessary for the growth of a baby. Amen? But when you come to a particular place, you need to begin to eat bone. You, ne you need to begin to eat strong meat. Now look at verse 14. He said, But strong meat belong to them that are of full age. Oh. People that are of full age, that have come to the spiritual full age of their life. Even those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. In this point, the devil can no longer deceive that person. You naturally know what is from God and what is not from God. Naturally. You don't need to pray about it. That's why Jesus could discern everything. You come to a full age where all your natural senses is, is, is already dead and your spiritual senses is at work. You walk in an unusual favor. When you have come to this realm, you will walk in an unusual favor. I am praying for somebody under the sound of my voice. The kind of favor that you have not seen is coming upon you now. The kind of favor that you have never testified about is coming upon you now. It's coming upon you now. Now, let me tell you, let me tell you. I know of a pastor that he does not pray for money. Anytime he's in need of money, Angels brings money in his pillow. He will just open his pillow and see men wrapped. He has developed his senses for finance. This thing I'm saying, you have to take it seriously. He has developed his senses for finance that at all costs that he can never lack. Is that angels will bring it? I know of another pastor. The only time that he's in need of money he will bring his atm put it inside the atm and say kato farakesha the thing will begin to rotate before you know it from zero uh, pounds it will go to two thousand or three thousand pounds he will withdraw his money and go home that is the level that jesus came to that when they came the tax collectors came to him he said to peter he said go to the to the sea the first fish you catch, open the mouth, you will see money. And Peter went and paid for three and a half years of a tax, both him and Jesus. That is favor. It, God has given you that kind of favor that even it comes to a time in your life, you don't need man. <laughs> you don't need man for some kind of thing because you're already in a kind of rain. 
you don't need man for a kind of thing you're already in a kind of frame i pray for you that kind of favor is coming upon your life now i said that kind of favor is coming upon your life now That's why Bible says all things are possible. All things are possible to them who have come to a full age. They have come to the full age of their spirituality. All things are possible. All things are possible because they have come to the full age of their spirituality. What will make Lazarus after four days of burial to jack back to life? Is a rain. Is a rain. Oh. Can I tell you? That's why we are going to a place where secrets of God will be unfolded in the body of Christ. That the world will begin to see the kind of wisdom of God that they have never seen before. That principalities and powers they will begin to see the oppression of God in a way that they have never seen before the power of God in the way that they have not seen before that is the area that we are going now that is the era that we are in amen that is the era that we are in there are things that if I begin to share it here now, even you it will be hard for you to believe there are things now that if I open Bible, I begin to review some mysteries. Even you now, you will doubt it. But I pray for you, you will not miss out. I say you will not miss out. I say you will not miss out. In the name of Jesus. When they called me and told me how the lady was, that you hear the testimony tongue was pulling out I finished praying I just had it I said my son there is good news and I announced it it did not reach five minutes the lady slept off and that was the end of that embargo is it rain is it rain supernatural favor that you have never walked in your life and none of your family member has ever walked in it the kind of supernatural favor that will follow you this month it will be a kind that nobody in your family has ever tested can that amen come alive Number three, before I round up, is through gifts. You can enter into the realm of favor through gifts. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs, chapter 18, verse 16, that the gift of a man maketh a way for him. The gift of a man makes the man to stand before kings. That's why if you are if you have a special grace maybe you can sing and you have developed it and people notice you it will open you up to people that matter you begin to walk in an unusual favor it begin to open you up to a kind of people people that matter amen i went i told you how i i went with some of my pastor friend we went somewhere one of my pastor friend he organized some of his friend when he came to prophecy I did not answer prophet I was answering apostle he reached prophecy they called me say man of God anyhow anyhow come and prophesy and I begin to enter into deep 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 of the matter all of them were just looking it opened me up to a kind of favor that when some of them see me today they will shake me with two hands it opened me up to a kind of favor so the gift of a man will make a way for him so whatsoever that is in you begin to make use of it he 
it will make people to begin to gravitate towards you if Frank Edward did not use his gift nobody will know him and the destiny of his family will still be in shambles up to now the gift of a man makes a way for him whatsoever that is in you begin to use it make use of it it makes you to walk in supernatural favor if you have the gift of healing begin to pray for the sick it makes you to walk in supernatural favor if you have the grace for deliverance begin to deliver people it's walk, it makes you to walk in supernatural favor and if you can be liberal in giving your finance even the money that is in your hand can make you to walk in supernatural favor there are people that if you buy gift for them today it will open you up to something just a little gift can open you up to something that I don't know how you will even recover from it that's why he said the gift of a man makes a way for him the gift of a man makes a way for him the gift of a man makes the man to walk in supernatural favor look at what the bible say in the book of luke chapter 6 verse 38 he said give and it shall be given unto you what did he say give and you shall be favored that is what it means give and you shall be favored he said good measure Press down and walking together shall men give unto your bosom. Now it is when you begin to give that your giving will make men to, to be going, gravitating towards you. Everywhere you go, men will be going towards through your giving. And he said, With the measure you give, it shall be measured back to you. So it is what you give that you receive back. So it is the kind of giving that you give that will also guarantee the kind of the kind of favor that returns back to your life amen someone here you will experience unusual favor i say you will experience unusual favor it is not in listening it is in doing it is not in listening it is in doing so what you have heard now can make you now to enter into unusual favor of your life but you have to begin to practice it you have to do what you have to practice it can i tell you even if somebody say he does not like you and you are giving the person gift i say i don't want to see your face and he's collecting i don't want to see your okay and one day you see he will, before you know he will call you on phone i know they see you again <laughs> that is how important gift is so he can open doors he can open doors somebody's closed door is open now somebody's closed door is opened now somebody's financial doors is open now somebody's business connection is open now in the name of Jesus so shall it be that's why it's good when you enter into a new mood you don't enter it with empty handed you must enter it with a gift I'm telling you a secret enter into your new mood with a gift in your hand you can go out there you give the poor you can change 1000 and distribute it among the poor and say father in this month i enter into unusual open doors can it can distribute something don't enter this month without giving that is what keep people down that is what keep people down the gift of a man will make room for the man so this month maybe from tomorrow if you are going out take out something Give the poor. Give the poor. Go there. Give beggars something. Say, Father, I enter into a usual favor. In this month. In this, can I tell you, so many people, even their blessing for July, they carried it over. Because they did not do the right thing that they're supposed to do. They carried it over. Say, blessed be the Lord who loaded us with all daily benefits. So there is benefit for every day. But people lose it because they are careless. 
you will not miss the favor of this month so make sure this month today tomorrow give out things make sure you give things to people hallelujah make sure you give things to, to give to people grace to be a giver let it come upon your life grace to be a giver in this month let it come upon your life grace to give to the poor let it come upon your life in the name of Jesus 